slavery, like patriarchy or like hierarchy, is actually a very recent phenomenon. Slavery, patriarchy, other forms of hierarchical domination in society are not that old. The first forms of human slavery go back to ancient Sumer toward the very beginnings of civilization. Now when I say civilization, I mean something very specific. I mean agricultural society, which began 10,000 years ago. And for millions of years before that period, all of our history as humans and all of our human ancestors lived in small hunting gathering bands. But one of the most radical changes to ever happen in human history happened just 10,000 years ago when we began to settle in one location and began to farm and to domesticate the wild plants and animals. 10,000 years ago, that's all. Before then, no patriarchy. Before then, no hierarchical domination. Before then, equality within society. Basic harmony with nature. So, actually, the first form of slavery was the enslavement of animals. That began with agricultural society. Because again, agricultural society means the domestication of the wild. The domestication of plants, we cultivate plants. Uh, the, the, domestic, the domestication of animals, we start to breed animals. Uh, we start to keep animals and to exploit them for our use. It's the beginning of a process that culminates today with genetic engineering, whereby we take the wild and we, uh, we colonize it and we change it technologically and exploit it for our purposes. So, for instance, um, we began to use animals for food, for transportation, and for labor. We brought them into our societies. They no longer ran free or wild. We confined them. We branded them. We uh, castrated them. We controlled these animals and exploited them in any number of ways. And now this is a very important point that very few people understand. Racism, sexism, ableism, and many forms of human hierarchy have their origins in speciesism. And of course by speciesism, I mean the philosophy that we are radically unique from all other animals, that in fact we are not even an animal, we are superior to them, and they exist for our purposes, and we can do what we wish with them. When you ask the question, who is, who is the human being? Who is Homo sapiens? What's the answer? Rational man. Rational man. In other words, we deny rationality to animals. We deny our own animality, and we establish ourselves as a pure rational essence. Uh, a mind without a body, almost, as Descartes later said. Now, that means that if the human is the rational, any form of human, any, any type of human group, women, people of color, islanders, the disabled, etc., if they are thought to be less than rational, they are said to be less than human. They are closer to animals than to humans. So we call them subhumans. And every time we go to war with another nation, we always reduce people to animals. They are rats, they are dogs, they are monkeys, they are vermin. Always they have to be dehumanized and then they are easy to kill. Because we already have species, speciesism as the foundation of our conceptual thought uh, thinking and of our uh, society, of our civilization. So we've created this box, animals, no reason, no moral status, and we can take any people, drag them into that box by saying they have no rationality, therefore they have no rights. So I'm saying that uh, if you believe in human rights, you better believe in animal rights, because you will never uh, get human rights without animal rights and vice versa.
if you want to abolish sexism, if you want to abolish racism, you must understand these philosophies came from speciesism. So when civilization came about and we domesticated animals and we define ourselves in sharp opposition to them as rational beings, we treated women like animals, we treated slaves who were captured from warfare like animals. They were not full members of society, we bred them like animals. They were considered to be resources for breeding, for exploitation, just like animals. Now all the technologies that were used to enslave human beings in the modern international slave trade, chains, whips, cages, uh, auctions, branding, all of these things were first done to animals. And the first philosopher of slavery was Aristotle. Aristotle created a hierarchy of value in the universe. It was a scale of perfection, and the more rationality a being had, the more perfect that being was. And so God was at the top of the hierarchy, humans were not far below, uh, and women and uh, slaves were toward the bottom, and animals were at the very bottom. And to quote Aristotle, just as plants exist for animals, so animals exist for humans. So lower forms of life serve the purpose for higher forms of life. Slavery was a natural and just fact of the universe. There was nothing wrong about it. It was natural. And thus you have the beginnings of Western thought. Western thought is grounded uh, not 2,500 years ago, but in the beginnings of agricultural society, and that's rooted in speciesism and the domestication of animals.